What's up, data monkeys? Welcome back to Neuralnet.ai. I am your host, Phil Tabor. In our previous video, we addressed the question of should you buy a custom-built deep learning PC? Should you build your own PC, or should you even buy a gaming PC? In today's video, we're going to explore an entirely separate path and ask the question of what if none of those is an option? How can you do deep learning without a GPU? Of course, that's a bit of a uh, trick question. You do need a GPU to do deep learning, but you don't have to own it. In fact, you can rent one, and there are a number of services for that express purpose. And in fact, I have used one of them, and I will relay my experiences. So first on the list is Paperspace. Paperspace is a uh, GPU sharing service specifically for machine learning and AI. And this is the one that I used because it is significantly less expensive than Amazon. So uh, right up front, I'll say that my experience wasn't great, but I, uh, while I was making this video, I think I discovered why. So I must have been using this G0 tier where it says standard GPU access. So what I believe that means is that they share the GPU out among other people uh, as the resources allow. So what I would observe is that while training my model, I would get a number of slowdowns during an epoch. Some of them would be faster, some of them would be slower. And on average, the Quadro GPU I was using uh, was around 30% slower than my 1080 Ti, despite being around 10% faster on paper. And rather than throw the service under the bus, I think it was my own fault. For some reason, I must have chosen this G0 when I should have just ponied up the eight bucks a month to get the G1. So the really cool thing about this service is, and if you scroll down, you can see their pricing. So these are the uh, P series, so Pascal. So if you're not familiar with NVIDIA's naming scheme, they name their GPUs after scientists and physicists, and, Pas and they go in alphabetical order. So P is Pascal, and that's relatively recent. So that's just one generation behind. Uh, presently, they're on Turing, which is the RTX cards. Uh, and you also have Volta, which is kind of a redheaded stepchild. It's kind of off in the middle doing its own thing. But it is incredibly powerful, and that's reflected in the price. I was running the P6000 with 3840 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes per GPU. And the reason was I was doing a computer vision problem that required uh, that much GPU space. And I thought it would be significantly faster with all the memory bandwidth and the CUDA cores. But as I said, I was probably using the wrong tier, and so it wasn't. Other things to note, you have to pay for a, um, a static IP address because you're going to have to upload data, right? If you're doing deep learning, you're going to need some type of data. So you have to pay a few bucks a month, like $5 or something like that, a nominal fee for a uh, static IP address so you can do the SCP to upload your data. And of course, that does incur a cost because the machine has to be up while you're uploading data, so that's quote-unquote non-productive time that you are paying for. Uh, nevertheless, this is a really killer deal. $5 a month storage fee. I think it gets you 100 gigabytes. I had to up it, so it was like 7 bucks, something like that. Really inexpensive. I ended up spending a couple hundred dollars on it, but in the end, I came to the conclusion that it just wasn't for me. My thought process was I was going to train the model for an extended period of time, and I didn't want to tie up my PC. Uh, I decided that um, using somebody else's stuff wasn't the best idea, so I went out and bought my own. So in the previous video, the thumbnail is a system with two RTX cards. That's my desktop. I'll do a video later on my exact setup, but I'm running two RTX cards, um, and I chose that after that over uh, renting out a GPU through a cloud service. Your other option, um, oh, one other thing is, and I don't see it here, uh, but one really cool thing about this service is that they have pre-built, uh, they have a bunch of like Docker instances where you can basically preload an entire machine without having to install all your drivers, all of your packages. Uh, and they do have good integration with the fast.ai uh, library and, and set of stuff. So if you're into fast.ai, then this would be a really great uh, option for you. Of course, Amazon is the elephant, uh, the giant in the space, the gorilla, so to speak. Um, and the primary reason you'd want to go with Amazon is that they're almost always up. You know, their uptime is really good. They have a strong track record and they can handle huge amounts of traffic. So if you are an individual researcher, I would say save the money. Um, 
if you're you know doing a research project, building a prototype, save the money and use paper space. But if you need to run a startup, if you have a machine learning model you need to serve in production, Amazon is probably a better idea because it has the capacity to handle all of that traffic. I'm not sure if paper space does or not, but we know Amazon does for sure. So they also have the Tesla V100 GPUs. Uh, again, uh, the V is for Volta. That's the... Um, uh, one of the newer generations, and they also have the K80, which is Kepler. That's a few generations behind, and M60. That is Maxwell. That's a couple of generations behind. Let's take a look at the pricing. So for the P3 instances, which are the the V100s, um, for the uh, lowest tier, you're going to pay three dollars and six cents. Yeah, you can see that three dollars and six cents per hour if you don't pre-purchase an entire year. That's astronomical. Whereas if you come over here um, and get a V100, you pay 230 per hour, which is oftentimes less than 306, right? So paper space is significantly less expensive. And let's check the RAM on that. You're getting a little bit less RAM, but uh, if you don't need it, then you don't need it. Um, it's probably not worth an extra buck an hour or so. Yeah, uh, 76 cents, whatever. If you take a look at the other tier, which is the K80, actually, sorry, I took a look at the M60 because that's a little bit more recent. So the M60s are 75 cents. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let's scroll down. So 75 cents per hour for the cheapest one. So 75 cents per hour on a Linux box versus 51 cents per hour on the cheapest for a Quadro P4000, which is going to be significantly faster. See, 8 gigs per GPU. Yeah, same GPU memory. Uh, you're almost certainly going to be better off going with the Quadro P4000 versus the Maxwell GPU here. Uh, I had a Maxwell GPU. It was really good, but it's still several years old, so there's no reason to pay good money for something that is significantly old, older than you know what you can get for two-thirds the price anyway. Uh, what about you guys? What sort of GPUs, what sort of systems do you run? Does anybody use uh, an AMD Radeon uh, GPU out there by chance? I've always wondered how all that works. Make sure to leave a comment below letting me know what GPU you use. I'm quite curious. Let's do a little poll. Informal, of course. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you. Any questions, comments, leave them below. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you all in the next video.